Welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and we are back after uh, hell. It's probably been over a week since I made a um, MechWarrior Online video. So, yeah, we're back, and we're with the Trebuchet Five in Trebuchet, uh, very underrated medium mech. It's 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 not the most underrated, but it, it's actually up there. Um, I mean, you see them every now and then, but um, definitely not a super popular choice among pilots. Um, the 5N, <clears throat> what I wouldn't suggest is the stock loadout. The stock loadout is complete garbage. It, um, it doesn't work. It's way too hot. You can't. It's just bad. It really is. Uh, the 5N focuses on its lasers and missile hardpoints, and um, I managed to make a decent build with this. Um, I don't use the trebuchet often, but um, I do like the mech. It's um, it's got quite a bit to offer, and I like the design. It's an older design. You can tell the newer designs, and you can tell the older designs, but this one is. Um, it, it's it's pleasing to the eye it really is and uh, I like using this mech I really do so yeah we're not gonna spend too much time on this um, I just wanted to um, display the trebuchet and uh, show you um, uh, a build that I came up with it's it's a pretty simple build uh, so yeah uh, trebuchet is 50 ton mech the 5N comes with 4 energy and 2 missiles so not too many weapon weapon hard points for a 50 ton mech but it's it's a decent amount um, so for our energy we've got four ER medium lasers so we've got three in our right arm and then you've also got one in your left arm so uh, yeah the three energies are gonna be in your right arm and then the one energy is in your left you've also got a missile hard point in your right torso and another missile hard point in your left arm so with that for the missiles, I decided let's go ahead and use MRMs. And an MRM 30 fit uh, perfectly. And I've got about 3 tons of MRM ammo. Uh, upgrades is Feral Fibrous and Endo Steel. I'm not using double heat sinks. The heat would be better if I did, but I'm not spending too much time on this. Um, so the heat um, ratio isn't that great. It's 1.12 out of 2, so it's on the lower side, but it doesn't heat up as bad as I thought it would. Um, it's uh, it, it's playable, um, and not not really on the bad end either. It's uh, on on the better end where um, it doesn't heat up that bad. Uh, let's see, armor points uh, basically maxed out except for my left arm. I've got most of my armor in my right arm, and I've also took some off the legs to add um, for some more tonnage. Uh, 55 in the CT, um, a decent amount for a 50 ton mech. Trebuchet is, is um, it's a good mech. I like it. I do. I do, I do, I do. So let's go ahead and play a couple matches here and uh, test out the 5N. See you on the battlefield. Well, it's uh, good to be back. It's good to be back in the cockpit of a mech. Very nice. Uh, Polar Highlands, uh, Trebuchet 5N. First match of the day. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> um, hell, uh, I played a couple matches before this um, with only four ER mediums and one MRM30. Uh, pulling a high amount of damage is kind of difficult with this. Um, now, granted, the MRM30s it does do 30 points of damage if you get all the missiles. Um, on contact if they all hit uh, sometimes that can be a little bit tough but um, it, it can put out a good amount of damage a decent amount some mechs um, especially for me there's just some mechs and some builds that uh, it's, it's harder to grind that damage out A 
I do like the um, the uh, the front of the cockpit. I like that little whatever that thing is. The design, I like it. I like all the little details and crap. Um. <clears throat> uh, but it's a 50 ton Mac, 81 kph, standard speed for a medium, pretty good. Um, now this Mac came with three medium lasers and two LRM 15s. Uh, it came with like one ton of ammo. It came with no heat sinks whatsoever. Um, firing the LRM 15 spiked your heat above 50 percent. Uh, it was just, it was a mess. It was a mess. I literally ran the stock build once and that was it. Also, your lasers um, on the trebuchet are down low. They hang by your arms and um, so to uh, you're gonna have to you know kinda peek out a little bit just to be able to hit the enemy so that, that can be a problem with this. They're gonna shoot down low so you gotta remember that. MRMs have a great range on them though, uh, about 550 meters they can go. Now I wasn't sure if SRMs would be better or if MRMs would be better, uh, but I rarely use MRMs so I, think, uh, I wanted to throw them on here just to uh, have a little bit of fun with them. But yeah, it's good to um, be playing again. Uh, I took like, kind of like a week break there. Um, work has been busy. I've been working on some of my music, and uh, but it's time to get back into the game. Ow! Holy shit! As you can see, the lasers are very low. Um, peeking out that far is definitely not a great idea at the moment. Push left flank. Oh shit. I got hit with something heavy. I've got to be very careful now. Um, I got hit with a heavy goss, I think. Right in the CT, <laughs> right in the center. So we're gonna push with these guys. Go around the side. Okay. Hopefully, catch them off guard. Yeah, I really don't want to get, uh, if I get hit in the CT a couple more times, I'll be down. I took a really unlucky hit in the center there. Almost ripped me apart. So we are closing in on them. New target acquired. Um, torso twisting in the trebuchet is really good. It's got a very good um, torso uh, tw twisting rate. And um, it's pretty smooth. They are all grouped up. Come on. 
Annihilator. Ah, uh, mad dog. Get away from me. Oh, man. That was a bad hit. Got him. Oh, well, I had to. Had to alpha that guy. Nice, that was a good move. We swept around the side and uh, compressed them. Basically, just took them from all sides. Good strategy. Um, so that's a that's a good uh, way for your team to move, especially domination on Polar Highlands. We got a kill, eight assists, 381. Um, so yeah, uh, a, a decent amount of damage for a quick match here. Let's play another match. Reactor online. Yeah. Sensors HPG. Online. First HPG of the day too. All systems nominal. Oh. All right. Everything looks good. Let's head out. Uh, a lot of the times I see a lot of trebuchets that are LRM boats. Well, LRM builds. Um, they, you know, use a lot of LRM 15s, LRM 20s, LRM 10s most of the time. Uh, and that's that's a that's a good move, um, using ER mediums and LRMs, but I think uh, MRMs work well with this too. It's not the most it's not the best mech to brawl in, but um, it's definitely like a you know like a second line mech. It's like a backup mech. Go in and you start cleaning out you know enemies, um, but I always find myself at the front of the enemy line. And that's uh, sometimes a really bad thing. Um, that y it'll earn you a quicker death, because uh, the trebuchet isn't one of, isn't a, a very strong mech. Um, it, I mean, it's it's decent, but it's um, it's not the strongest mech. Not not the best medium. Its damage output isn't as good as some other mediums, but we're we're, make, we're definitely making it work. And the MRMs do put out a decent amount of damage, which I like, and they've got a good range on them. It's just getting that shot out there. Um, it's just getting that damage out, and then trying to get back to cover. Uh, and you know what's funny is that uh, oh, I mean I still see piranhas like every other match but it, uh, the piranhas have definitely died down um, it's not as piranha crazy as it was because um, for a while there there was I mean piranhas just running around every match everywhere Uh, I think the Black Lantern is next, but I really don't know much about that mech. There's an urban mech on top of the satellite. He's been up there for a while now. New target acquired. New target acquired. 
Warning, incoming missile. Target destroyed. One to zero. This is actually taking a good minute. They're ha oh, the enemy team is holding up very well. I'm going to go ahead and um Target stay applied. on top for a minute. Irby is still on top of the satellite. Incoming missile. Right arm critical damage. New target. My right arm is looking bad. New target acquired. That atlas. Let's see if I can dampen his CT there. Oh, it's bright orange. New Dang it! Acquired. New target acquired. Hey, hello, bringer. Two to one. New target acquired. They are holding up very well. This is a real fight here. Heat level critical. Damn. New target acquired. Heat level critical. So we are definitely um, putting out some damage into these mechs. Oh shit. Shit, shit. Fucking move. Heat level critical. Oh fuck. Oh, not a machine gun. Oh, he got me. He got me. Well, we might as well watch the rest of the match and see how the team does. So, two to three. The enemy is ahead by one. We've got... Let's see here. Oh, two to four. They are uh, basically surrounding us all. Having the high ground in this may not be um, the best choice. Sometimes having the top is uh, superior, especially in HPG, um, just depending on what the enemy is doing. And right now they are scarcely sparse around. Uh, three to four, we are catching up. LRM ammo depleted. Foxtrot Direwolf is almost down, but he's got AMS as well. Critical. I like the urban mech down here. Target alpha. Warning incoming. Four to five. Four, five to six. We are catching up. They are ahead by one is still. Let's keep looking here. New target acquired. Okay, they are ahead by two now. Target acquired. Six to eight. He's got dual goss, dual large pulse, three ER mediums. He needs to move out a little bit further to get that shot out. If the catapult is uh, gonna come out from that corner, he might have a shot. He's got to come out a little bit more. Nope, see, he's not going to... Catapult's probably almost down anyways. Alright. It is down 8 to 9. There is only three of us left. 
There's a hunchback. I believe there's a centurion as well. I saw a centurion. And there's also another. The others might be AFK. Is that an urban mech? To the right. What just shot him? Oh, dude, he's getting lit up by that Centurion. It's got some rotary AC5s that are tearing him up. Rotary AC5s on a Centurion. That's uh, pretty, pretty decent. Alright, you need a backup, dude. Warning, incoming missile. We are tied, 9 to 9. Direwolf is dropping down. We could definitely have this in the bag because they are uh, they are down one. Um, so we are ahead by one in that department. This Centurion is lighting him up. He's almost down though. His CT is uh, about to be completely destroyed. This direwolf has the upper hand, definitely. Depending on... Oh, there he goes. Centurion is down. Nice shot. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the other players here. We've got the Rifleman. Which he's also in good health. And then we've got Whiskey Tango in the Hellbringer, who is uh, missing his arms. And he's got four Clan ER large lasers left. So, really, technically, there is only one more enemy walking around. There he is, the Urban Mech. And that is what I call a death from above. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully the team will tell us where the last guy is. There we go. Disconnect in D2. Disconnect in D2. And there we go. End of match. We put up a good fight. They put up a good fight. It was a great match. 12 to 9. But the Trebuchet 5 in, guys. It's a decent match. Putting MRMs on it's a good idea. LRMs work just fine, too. SRMs would be awesome, too. It really doesn't matter. We got 1K MDD. Almost 400 damage. 10 assists. We're getting a lot of assists with this mech. So, uh, but yeah, you guys, uh, check out the 5 in. Great mech. And that's about it for this one. Uh, I'm going to be playing M MWO all day. Uh, so we will have another mech for you soon. And um, good to be back. Good to be back playing the game. Guys, have a good rest of your day and we will see you on the next video. Fuzzy Nova out.